Hollywood writers and production studios are engaging in last-minute talks to avoid a writer strike. Yahoo Finance's Alexandra Canal here with the details. Ali, where do those talks stand? Well, right now they're in 11th hour negotiations. There are sort of three things that can happen. They can reach a last-minute deal. They can reach a short-term deal. They can reach an extension. That seems unlikely. Or as early as tomorrow, Tuesday, those writers could walk out on the strike. And if you think about the economic impact, it's going to be dire, especially the longer that that this strike continues because it's not just writers, it's also the production crew, it's stagehands, it's all of those ancillary businesses that are Hollywood dependent, like catering companies, limousine companies. If we take a look at the last writer strike, which happened 15 years ago, it lasted 100 days between November 2007 to February 2008. It cost the LA economy an estimated $2.5 billion. Now that included wages lost by those writers and other workers during the shutdown, along with those Hollywood dependent businesses that I mentioned. And, you know, although Hollywood is vital to the LA economy, writing and production, they're very important industries for other U.S. cities as well, like Atlanta, New York, Chicago, just to name a few. So the longer this continues, the harder things are going to get. For the immediate impact, that's going to hit soap operas. It's going to hit late night talk shows like SNL. In terms of your favorite uh, streaming shows and cable shows, it's likely that, that, that there will be a delay when it comes to some of those productions. If it goes longer right now, we probably won't see an immediate impact. We've heard from studio executives from Netflix to Warner Brothers Discovery who have said we have a lot of bankable content preparing just in case a strike does happen. And then on the film side, because of that long production time, it's unlikely that we'll see any impact to the 2023 slate. But 2024, if this continues through the summer and into the fall, that could be impacted as well. So we'll be watching those negotiations very closely.